Would you like to know more about the best intense fruity extra virgin olive oils you can buy all around the planet? If you are interested in this topic, you are in the right place. Today, we are going to talk about the 10 best extra virgin olive oils intense fruity category we have awarded during the Monte Carlo Masters of Olive Oil International Contest 2021 edition. We will see together where they come from, how they have been made, and their own sensory profile sheet that our international team of judges has defined to describe these amazing extra virgin olive oils. Before going on, I want to ask one thing. Do you have an idea about when is dated the most ancient law concerning the olive oil commerce? I think it's a very difficult question. If any one of you knows something, I am very happy. But if you don't know when is dated the most ancient law about commerce of olive oil, let's go together to see it. You see, this is a big stone whose name is Amurabi Code. It is placed in Paris in the Louvre Museum. This is an incredible stone because it contains a lot of codes, laws about different topics of the age. But the most important thing for us is that it contains some laws about olive oil commerce. But it's incredible when it is stated because it is dated 4,000 years before Christ, so about 6,000 years before now. So it's amazing, incredible. We are talking that ancient regulated their commerce 6,000 years ago. My name is Aldo Mazzini. I am the organizer and the founder of the Monte Carlo Masters of Volleyball International Contest and the founder of the Masters of Volleyball Academy. If you want to learn more about the olive oil world, you are in the right channel. Stay tuned. And now let's go talking about the 10 best extra virgin olive oils intense fruity category we have awarded during the Monte Carlo Masters of Olive Oil this year. First of all, we have to remember that we have an intense extra virgin olive oil when its fruity has above six fruitness. Let's see where they come from, these intense extra virgin olive oils. As you can see here, they have amazing marketing, amazing bottles. You see, incredible. Today, marketing in olive oil world is very, very modern, very interesting. But the most important thing to us is not what is outside, it is very important when we are going to buy but for us the most important things is what we can find inside the bottles so let's go to see how our team of international judge has defined and settled the organoleptic assessment of these incredible oils before going on i want to tell you one thing in this list, we have three extra virgin olive oils coming from the same producer, whose name is Almazaras de la Subetica. And you have to know that this producer is a big cooperative placed in Andalusia. And during the last years, it has been the most awarded producer in the world. So they produce incredible olive oils. Let's go to see where they are placed. You see, this is a typical environment from Andalusia, and especially they are placed in Priego de Cordoba. It's a southern part of Andalusia in, with a mountain environment that is very interesting for growing olive trees. Because in this kind of environment, olive trees produce olives with amazing taste and smells. And this is why they produce incredible extra virgin olive oils. Let's start from the first one, Rincón de la Subetica. It's the nomination origin protected from Priego de Cordoba, and it is a monocultivar. In fact, it has been done with a single cultivar whose name is Hockey Blanca. It's amazing and 
very important in Spain, this kind of cultivar. Let's go to see the spider sheet or the organolectic assessment sheet of the oil. As you can see, Rincon de la Subetica has smell of green fruity, green fresh herbs, artichoke, almond, tomato leaves, olive fruity and bitter and pungent, powerful but well balanced and harmonic. Let's go with the next one. Parque Oliva is again a denomination origin protected. In this case we have a blend made with two different cultivars, Occhiblanca and Picudo, and this gives to this oil amazing smells and amazing characteristics. As you can see here in the spider sheet, it has green fruity above six and of course fresh herbs, olive fruity, odd and green positive, olive leaves, artichoke and tomato leaves and pungent and bitter, again powerful but well balanced and harmonic with all the oil. Let's see the third one of the list, Alma Oliva. In this case we have again a monocultivar made with just one type of olive. They have used the Arbequina. It's a famous one in Spain and all over the world because Arbequina is used to plant new super intensive orchards and is very, very interesting. When collected early crop, it can make incredible extra virgin olive oils with green fruity, fresh herbs, tomato leaves smells, bitter and pungent, well harmonic and also final with almond and dried fruits. It's a very very interesting extra virgin olive oil. This kind of oil is loved quite all over the world. Let's go to see a new area a new producing area. We are going now in Italy, in Sicily. As you can see, this is a typical landscape in Sicily. And we are in south of Sicily, in the area of the Monte Iblei, Iblei Mountains. This new oil is a blend made in Sicily, as I told, with two different cultivars, Tonda Iblea and Moresca. Frantoio Galiotto has done an amazing job. In fact, it has produced this year an incredible extra virgin olive oil with great amount of different smells and characteristics. Green fruity, aromatic herbs, almonds, artichoke, olive fruity, bitter and pungent, again powerful because we are in front of an intense fruity, but all really well balanced and harmonic with all the oil. Let's go back in Spain. We have another one in the final that comes from Spain. We change, we are going in another area of Spain and now we are in Cordoba. This is the typical landscape in Cordoba. In this case, we have again a blend made with Occhi Blanca and Picudo. This is a big company that's based in Spain and also in the United States, whose name is Goya. And the brand is Goya Unico Premium. And you can find it all over the world from Spain to Japan, United States and South America. It's easy to find in supermarkets because this is a very big brand. It has amazing green fruit notes, artichoke, green leaf tomatoes, almonds, fresh herbs, pungent and bitter again. A very good extra virgin olive oil, a premium quality. Then we have again a product coming from Goya, whose name is Goya Organics. It's an organic extra virgin olive oil. They use three different cultivars. In fact, it's again, it's a blend. They have used the three cultivars coming from Spain. Picual, the most important cultivar in the world. Hockey Blanca, we have talked about, and uh, Picudo again. We have an amazing blend. 
coming again from Andalusia area. Let's see how is the spider map of this oil. Green fruity, artichoke, olive fruity, tomato leaves, olive leaves, almond, and also aromatic herbs. It is a very complex, harmonic and interesting oil again. And now let's go to Italy, to the central part of Italy, in Lazio. This is a typical landscape in Lazio. This producer, whose name is Quattro Ciocchi, has produced an incredible extra virgin olive oil and monocultivar, whose name is Olivastro, obtained by a cultivar very famous in Italy and abroad, whose name is Itrana. You can see the picture here and the area where it has been produced. Let's see how is the marketing of this oil and how is the spider sheet of the oil. You see amazing bottle and amazing descriptors. Cream fruity, artichoke again, fresh herbs, olive fruity, olive leaves, almond, green almond, green tomato leaves, bitter pungent, and also aromatic herbs. Again, rich, complex, and harmonic extra virgin olive oil. You have to taste it, try it, and you will never go back. Then, let's go back to Spain. We are going to Castilla-La Mancha, another amazing producing area in Spain. And in this case, we have a monocultivar produced in Castilla-La Mancha, as I told. The producer is Palacios de los Olivos. We have a monocultivar, Picual cultivar. You know, Picual is the most important cultivar not only in Spain, but all over the world. Because 25% of the oils we consume every year around the world have been made with Picual cultivar. So it's a very important cultivar. And let's see how it presents marketing and organolectic assessment of the Palacios de los Olivos monocultivar Picual. You can see it has green fruity, green almond, aromatic herbs, bitter, pungent, olive leaves, and fresh herbs. All these kind of descriptors are well balanced, complex, and very well harmonized. And this is an incredible extra virgin olive oil again. Let's go back to Andalusia. Here we have a very interesting producer, the most awarded producer during 2018, whose name is Gnolive. The name of the oil is Epicure. Incredible. It's a blend made with Oki Blanca and Picual, two of the most important cultivars in Spain. Let's see. How is the marketing? Do you see it's an amazing bottle? Incredible, very, very nice. And also the spider map, the organolytic assessment is very interesting. It's complex, rich, and very, very harmonic as the most important awarded olive oil during 2018 all around the world. Let's go back in Italy. And we are going to the south part of Italy, in Puglia. This is a typical landscape in Puglia. We are going in the area of Canosa di Puglia. This producer, whose name is Sabino Leone, is again one of the most important in the world. One of the 10 most awarded producers in the world. So we are presenting to you the best, the very best and top quality extra virgin olive oils you can find around the world. This is again a monocultivar produced with the typical olive from Apulia. It's the Coratina cultivar. Let's go how is nice the marketing and the brand, how is complex and very, very rich this spider map, this assessment incredibly rich and complex, this extra virgin olive oil. We can say that it's a, like a picture, like a paint, 
reach of course. Till now, we have reviewed the 10 finalists of the Monte Carlo Masters of Volleyball International Contest 2021. But now, it's time to let's go to see what are the three winners. In the third place, we have Oliva Palacios, monocultivar from Piqual. Second place, we have from Spain again, Knolive Epicur and first gold medal 2021 Sabino Leone with his monocultivar from Coratina. Let's see a quick recap. Now you know more about the 10 Best Intense Fruity awarded Extra Virgin Olive Oils 2021, where they have been produced, what cultivars have been used to produce them, and what are their sensory profile spider sheets. You can easily decide now if they can fit your test preferences and how to better use them in your kitchen. Finally, before leaving, I want to give you an anticipation of the next upcoming videos. In the next weeks, we'll talk about the 10 best medium fruity extra virgin olive oils and the 10 best light fruity extra virgin olive oils. Congratulations for your commitment and your desire to learn. If you want, I have also prepared a self-assessment questionnaire for you so you can realize what level your knowledge is on the olive oil world. If you desire to know more and more about EVOS, I'll wait for you in the next videos. Would you like to play with us a little bit? Go right now to the self-assessment simple test we have prepared for you. You verified what your actual knowledges are about olive oil. You also understand what are the areas that you might go deeper to increase your knowledges in the field. Last but not least, don't forget to write down your curiosities and questions on the argument. We'll reply with pleasure to all of your questions. If you like the video, you might offer a great opportunity to your friends and other consumers for learning more about the amazing olive oil world, just doing a little sharing on your socials, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. And remember, subscribe now, stay tuned with Masters of Olive Oil YouTube channel. See you in the next videos. Ciao!